Trying to stick to the plan. Earn as much as there is to be earned here, then get on home. Love you, hon. Can't wait to be a family again. A thief in our midst, here to steal our life blood. Stop! Stop, Father, please! I convinced him not to kill you. Yeah, I caught that. So we're catching up on Lost Planet 3, a game that's been in development for quite some time, but it's finally close to coming out now. It is coming out on August 27th on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. All right, so what, what is it that people get to sample here at E3 this year? Uh, we actually have both uh, the single player version and the multiplayer version here at E3. So multiplayer is here for the first time. Uh, the game has both single player and the story mode. Uh, you follow the storyline of Jim Payton, who has uh, been hired by a company called Nevik to come to EDN3 in order to harvest thermal energy and send back to uh, Earth in order uh, to sustain their survival. What he finds out is that the stories that Nevik has been telling him is not quite true. He discovers a lot of secrets as he's going throughout the, his journey in the single player mode. Um, we are back to the origins of EDN3 where we uh, first came to EDN3 and Lost Planet 1. Uh, this is actually a prequel, so Jim is one of the first people that have come in here. But he soon discovers that that may not be the truth. How much, how much does it connect to the story of the previous two games or is it, is it more like a standalone thing? It is very much a standalone thing, but you do um, get to meet some characters that tie in to Lost Planet One. You actually get to meet uh, Wayne's mom and dad, so you get to see where Wayne and Lost Planet One came from. So it, it, it's sometimes it's a bit of a challenge to sort of do go the the prequel route because you know obviously weaponry and such things should be a little bit less uh, evolved, if you will. How do you, how do you go about that, that approach and, and what kind of weaponry is, is at Jim's disposal? Uh, so for Lost Planet 3, um, we have two different modes of play. We have third person when uh, Jim is on foot, you know, over the shoulder shot. you are still got your basic weapons, your shotguns, rifles, and your grenades, and you're going through. You're meeting Acrid. Now the Acrid are different. The planet is still harsh and extreme, what we were familiar with when we saw Lost Planet 1. Um, but the utility rig is very different from uh, the VSs that we had in Lost Planet 1. Uh, in this game, um, Jim is a man who's been hired to dig and drill up en thermal energy. So the machinery that's being used is technically used in order to get thermal energy out of the ground. So it, it, it's a drilling tool. But he finds out that it's actually very handy in killing Acrid as well. So it's got multiple purposes. Um, you are using thermal energy you don't, as more of a currency. So it's not just powering your suit. Whatever you drill up, you're able to use it to upgrade different things within the game. So although some of the mechanics are there, we brought in a different feel on how you play the game. So you said the multiplayer was... Uh available for sampling here. What, what's the multiplayer like and, and is it different from, from previous Lost Planet games? Uh, we have up to 10 players um, in multiplayer. We have four different modes. Um, you play either the Snow Pirates or the Nevik team. Um, there's different scenarios so um, and I can't for the life of me right now, remember what all the scenarios are. For example, in Team Deathmatch, you're able to pick on either side. Obviously, your team with the top score wins. The machinery and the weapons are still similar, but somewhat different. It's based on what you find within the game itself. It's really exciting and fun. We have six different maps, so the maps are very unique and very different. Um, it's a different experience, but for those people who are fans of the franchise, they'll find similarities as well. Um. I guess uh, I guess what I'm asking is because it's because what's a lot of grappling action in previous titles is that, is that coming back in any way? We do have the grapple in uh, the single player mode if you get a chance to play you are able to use it in certain areas in multiplayer mode if you get a chance to play it outside and I urge you to do it you do actually use it you have different platforms that you're in you need to get up top really quickly use the left bumper on the Xbox 360 you can grapple your way up there so yes it is utilized.
Right. So I guess I guess the team is pretty much wrapping up development right now and yes. in submission or whatever. Is is that the case? Yes. Yes. The get the game's pretty much done. Are you planning any post-launch support at all? Um, right now, nothing's been uh, announced, but uh, so our focus is just getting the game out and making sure it's in the hands of everybody on time. Right. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And leave no trace of life. This place is ours to protect now.